The alleged survival and the defilement trial against Managing Director of Optimal Cancer Care Foundation, Dr. Femi Olaleye, has given her testimony before Justice Rahman Oshudi of the Lagos State Sexual Offences and Domestic Violence Court sitting in Ikeja. The court also varied their bill conditions earlier imposed on the defendant to 40 million naira. Kemi Foladi Emo has more. The 18-year-old, whose names are withheld to protect her identity, arrived at the court on Wednesday with her face covered in the company of some family members, including the wife of the defendant who filed the complaint against him. On Monday this week, Adiremi Fagbe Miolaleye had testified in court, accusing her husband of defiling the then minor, who was her second cousin between December 2019 and July 2022. Mrs. Olaleye said she got to know about the alleged crimes after her cousin confessed to her aunt and the family's driver. At the resumption of the hearing, the Director of Public Prosecutions, Babaji De Martins, prosecuting the case for the Lagos State Government, called up the alleged survivor to testify. But he requested that the courtroom be cleared to enable her to testify in privacy. The DPP cited Section 36, Subsection 6, a of the 1999 constitution as amended, which mandates a court to disallow members of the public from being present in the courtroom to protect the welfare of the witness. In his response, lead defense counsel Babatunde Ogala, a senior advocate of Nigeria, said that though the witness has attained adulthood, he wouldn't object to the application on the basis of morality. In his ruling, Justice Oshodi ordered that the courtroom be closed to the public, including journalists, and asked the defense to nominate anyone to attend the hearing. After the closed testimony, the defense applied for a variation of the bill conditions, which the court granted to the defendant in November. The senior advocate of Nigeria argued that it was difficult for the defendant to fulfill those conditions which had warranted his continued remand at the Nigerian Correctional Center, Ikui. He also said the situation had hindered easy access of the legal team to meet with the defendant and prepare adequately for his defense. The senior lawyer urged the courts to grant the defendant a lesser bill in the sum of 10 million naira and for one of his sureties to be a relative or professional colleague. With no objection by the prosecution, the judge granted the application for the variation, but not exactly as the defense requested. The court varied the bill conditions by handing down a 40 million naira bond with two sureties in like sum. The sureties are to deposit original title documents of their properties which must be located within Lagos State, and they are to file an affidavit of means and produce evidence of payment of income tax within the past three years, while the defendant is to deposit his traveling and British passports. For the hearing is fixed for January the 3rd and the 4th, 2023. Kemi Foladeyemo, TVC News, Lagos.